Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you guys a little overview on a Waves plugin called the Doro. Um, we're going to go into it, basically give you guys a little overview, you know, open it up, see what kind of uh, uh, options the plugin has to offer. Uh, I'm not really going to fool around with it because later on in, the, in my videos, I'm, uh, well, in my future videos, I'm going to show you guys uh, how all of these uh, plugins actually work on a track. I want to show you guys how to mix it the way I mix it. You know, maybe it'll give you guys some creative ideas. But for now, we're just going to open it up. We're going to go into audio effects, down to audio units, down to waves. We're going to go up to Doro. We're going to open it up. It's going to look a little something like this. Um, basically, it has your phase button, your sum different, your left and your right. You can highlight all these. You can pick one of these and highlight them. Uh... You can't do two at the same time. <clears throat> We're gonna have to pick uh, one of the two. Um, this is basically it. You have your overs, your peak, your your meter mode, and, the, and your uh, your output uh, is to the left, or uh, your uh, whatever you deduct from it. Basically, this is the Doro. Um, uh, I suggest you guys go in and try it out. You know. See what you guys think. See what kind of effects you guys get with it. Remember, keep in mind that you have to have certain Waves plugins to open these kind of plugins. Well, Waves bundles to open these kind of plugins. But I suggest you try it out. See what kind of effects you can do. This is basically the plugin I want to do overview on in today's tutorial. And, and here it is. Uh, thank you guys for watching my video. Please subscribe.